Hello, all you beautiful people. It's your girl, Asia, the MUA, back with another edition of Adventures in Freelancing. If this is your first time seeing my face, I welcome you with open arms. Thank you so much for joining us. If, however, you are not new, you already know what time it is. Hey, a lister, how you doing? So, in my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to hear about my brand trip to Juvia's Place, and absolutely nobody said they did, but I'm going to bring you guys this story time anyway, because Juvia's Place sent me a huge PR package of their new shade sticks, and this is actually one of the products that I got a chance to demo when I got the amazing opportunity to visit the headquarters of Juvia's Place, the office, I don't know what you call it. I call it the headquarters because it makes me feel really, really official that I visited the headquarters of Juvia's Place. Anyway, if you guys want to see how I came up with this look and hear this fun story time, just keep watching. Okay, so if you're going to watch this video, I'm going to stop you right here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, wherever it is around here. Hit that like button. Turn on those notifications so you do not miss an upload from your girl because I have a lot of really wonderful, wonderful things in store for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, let's get into the look. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to go into the Nomad palette. Is the little thing still in here? Who keeps these little things? Because I always try to keep my little plastic film. I feel like it protects my eyeshadow from like me. <laughs> I'm going to go into this color from the Nomad palette. And of course, I'm using my BH Cosmetics 101 brush. My favorite eyeshadow blending brush to start with. And I'm just going to start blending this into my upper crease. So I guess it was back in July. I was just looking through my messages. I guess it was back in July. I think I, um, I don't know. I guess I was feeling some kind of way. And <laughs> I guess I was feeling desperate, whatever. I I don't know. I reached out to Chi Chi and I was like, listen, like, you know, I love this brand. And, you know, I've been down from day one. Like, you know, what do I need to do, you know, to make my presence more felt and more known with this brand? Like, I'm, I'm down and I'm ready for whatever, you know, within reason. <laughs> but... She was just like, oh my God, Asia, we love you. Like, I've been trying to get you out here for the longest. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so amazing. And like three days later, she was like, Priscilla will be contacting you with your flight information and your hotel information. We're finalizing everything. And I'm pretty sure I died. Pretty sure I did. Now I'm going to go into, now I'm going to go into the Zulu palette, the orange in the Zulu palette. It's just such a pretty orange and I feel like it's an orange you can use all year long in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. The Zulu palette, I think is Juvia's Place's best selling palette because it is probably one of the most well-rounded palettes as far as like bright colors you know, you got some shimmers, you got some great mattes, you got a good neutral brown. Um, and I think everybody just really loves the bright colors in this palette. So it's really, really just a special palette. I feel like they're all special to me. They're all like my little babies. So I think I had this conversation with Chi Chi in like early July. I think I ended up talking to Priscilla like July 5th-ish, something like that. Um, and two weeks later, I was in New Jersey. <laughs> it was like, <sighs> I can't even describe it. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my entire life. It was so awesome. I just remember like arriving there like, Oh my God, this is really happening. Like this, this was something that, that I had like 
gold <laughs> for like years like because this was something that I had discussed with Chi Chi for like a long time like I was This is something that I had like discussed with Chi Chi, you know, for quite some time. Like when they were launching the foundations, like she was DMing me like, what are you looking for? You know, what do you like about the foundations that you work with every day? What are you looking for in a foundation that you use for your kit every day? Like you know like asking me like really like focus group type questions and i was like oh my god i would be so honored and she was like girl we are going to italy to formulate this foundation like this foundation is about to be so amazing and delivered it's just so crazy because there's literally nothing that that chi chi has told me that was gonna happen that didn't happen in this whole, you know, experience that I have had with this brand that I love so dearly. Like, it's so amazing. Like, I can't explain to you guys how it feels. Like, <laughs> I really can't explain to you how it feels to have such a such an emotional connection to something that you love so much. Like, this is what I do, you know. This is how I feed my kids. And I was buying these palettes way before Juvia's Place was sending me PR packages. And it's just so awesome to, to feel the love and support reciprocated. So just thank you guys so much. Like from the bottom of my heart. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to get all mushy. I'm not going to cry. So I'm going into the Saharan 2. I rarely do a look without this palette. This is probably my favorite palette. I'm going to go into Fez. Um, I'm going to really like, like try to blow this out in my crease. Like I'm going to really take my time and try to do this right. So I'm going to try this vlogging thing. I just landed in Jersey. This is my chauffeur, Joseph. Thank you so much. Do you know what hotel we're going to? Huh? Do you know what hotel we're going to? Okay. Um. So I, you know, wake up the next morning and I get ready to head to the head to the headquarters office. I don't know what you want to call it, like the mothership, like. I'm like, I get there, the Uber gets lost, me and Priscilla are on the phone like, what the hell is going on? Where is this Uber taking you? Is he like on some weird stuff? Like, we're like freaking out and finally I get there and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm here. It felt like I was walking into a giant Saharan 2 palette because this is exactly what the second floor of the Juvia's Place headquarters looks like. It's so amazingly beautiful. Like, ah. Uh. So I know I mentioned in my last video that I met Britt Knight. When I got there, Britt was like setting up to film and I was like, oh my God, I know her because I have been a fan of Britt for a long time. She's absolutely amazing. And to walk in and see somebody that I knew and loved and respected, it was like, Yes, yes. So Brit Knight is in the studio right now doing her thing. She looks like a freaking queen, okay? Hey Brit. 
I've been a fan of hers for a period. I really felt like I had arrived. Like, and I don't feel like anybody can take that from me. So, um, let me say that. So, I arrive at the headquarters finally and everything is just glorious. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And then Fumi arrived. Fumi arrived with her entire family. Fumi arrived with her entire entourage in pure royal <laughs> fashion because this was around the time that the Fumi Queen palette was about to launch. And that when I got there, they told me that is what we were going to be filming with. And I was just like, oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Like. There was a stylist, there were just loads of accessories in the studio. This studio, this equipment, the videographer, I got to meet Vanessa Jemai, like, I got to meet Chi Chi, I got to meet, oh my God, I got to meet Daphne, I got to meet everybody that works for the brand that I hold near and dear to my heart, and it was an absolutely amazing experience. crazy. Also, while I was there, we were using the whole Fumi collection, the palette, the glosses. It was great. And then they hand us these things and they're like, hey, use these too. And they're these sticks and they're super cute and they're super creamy and super blendable. And we're like, these are great. And they're like, yeah, those are coming. So, so got a PR package. Look at so I believe this is all 30 shades of the Juvia's Place shade sticks in this beautiful box. Like, Juvia's Place PR is always a pleasure. So I was looking through the shade range. I don't remember what I used when I was there, but I was looking through the shade range online and I think I kind of found the ones that I would want to contour with because that's what I did with these shade sticks and they were absolutely phenomenal. Look at this gorgeous makeup bag. Like Juvia's Place been coming with the makeup bags, right? The makeup bag that came with the foundation, the makeup bag that came with the Fumi collection, and now this one. This one is a little bit bigger. This one feels a little more... I don't know, just like, ooh, just giving me all the feels. Of course, the beautiful color scheme, coral, peachy, coral situation, color type things are my jam, and that seems to be the theme throughout Juvia's Place complexion packaging, and I am here for it, okay? Yeah, this is all 30. I just counted. This is literally all 30 of the shades. Six. Thank you so much, Juvia's Place. Oh my God. <laughs> so I want to have a look at, like, look at the detail in the packaging on the smallest boxes that they create. Like, <sighs> So I went ahead and pulled four shades that I was kind of interested in. I guess I'll do some swatches for you guys. Let me get my arm cleared off. Mozambique, Benin, Namibia, and Addis Ababa.
these that I would contour with, I'm going to say Benin. So this is the one I'm going to try for today. Um, there are 30 shades in this collection. So next time I do my makeup, I might want to try a different shade. Honey, baby, it's 30 of them. You can highlight, sculpt, contour. Like, you can do anything with these because not only is it like a super creamy contour product, it's a bomb cream foundation. Like... Tribe Volume 2 highlighter. So Fumi comes in and guys, how she is online is exactly how she is in person. She is the sweetest, kindest, most humble, most beautiful, just her whole she just walked in with this whole vibe and she just brought this entire vibe into the whole building. It was absolutely amazing. I went ahead and finished the look. I added a little glitter on my inner corner. It's Lemonade by Mo Glitz and Glam. I finished my lip. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much to Juvia's Place. I ended up filming two videos. I got a chance to talk to Chi Chi and some members of her staff about you know ideas that that we were bouncing back and forth off of each other it was it was one of the most amazing experiences i've ever had in my life definitely probably the dopest thing that's ever happened to me as a makeup artist slash beauty influencer so chi chi like i tell you all the time you have no idea what you have done for me like the support that Juvia's Place shows me empowers me. It gives me so much confidence and it makes me feel so bossy. I don't know. Like, <laughs> just to get the type of support that I get from a brand that I go so hard for, it's just absolutely amazing. And I can't thank you enough. Like, I really really can't I like I love you from the bottom of my heart make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and let me know you like this video if you made it all the way to the end leave me a little sparkle in the comments um I just want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me make sure you guys turn on your notifications if you have your notifications on leave me a little bell in the comments that way in the next video I'll be able to give you a shout out thank you guys so 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 much for watching until next time stay beautiful